It may seem that everything is discovered and all the secrets are solved. But further information you will not find in any books or on the Internet. Because it's a mystery which has thousands of years. Mounds, witnesses of ancient times, are talking to us now. It's time to open Bezvodovka to the world. I am an explorer. When I was studying the old maps, my attention was caught by a group of mounds located 5 kilometers east from the town Ichnya in Chernigiv region of Ukraine. Four of these mounds, of various shapes and sizes, are arranged in a circle in the highest point of the area, on the plateau called Bezvodovka. Solar Observatory Once there were more mounds. The 1928 maps shows that there were five of them, and not far away, at a distance from 800 to 4000 meters, other individual earth mounds and their groups are situated. On the 1961 map, I have found that the central circle consisted of six mounds, and it has helped me to identify where the historical monuments, destroyed by human indifference and plow, are located. In scientific sources, the Bezvodovka mound complex is not described, and only in the 1974 book Historical and statistical description of Chernigiv region contains such information. In the neighborhood of Ichnya, there are many mounds which are never mentioned in the historical records. These mounds have a special structure with the earth ramparts. They are called Yaskovi graves, Robleni graves, Osvichena, Odinitsa, Gorili Did, Ostriti, etc. Why did the historians take no notice of this archaeological site? They only gave it to a simple definition of burial mounds of nomadic tribes of the second millennium BC. They studied each mound separately, and their scientific dogmas did not allow them to look at the complex on a larger scale, in order to find the relationship between the elements of the system which covers an area about 20 square kilometers. Mounds are the signing finders of the ancient solar observatory and indicate the sunrise and the sunset points of the days of summer and winter solstices and the spring and autumn equinoxes. Azimuths of distant signing finders coincide with azimuths of near signing finders of the Bezvodovka central mound circle. The observer was at the center of the complex, and from a distance of 3 kilometers, as the mark on the horizon, he could see only a huge hill. From a distance, it seems a little hump on the horizon. So, how did the solar observatory work? On the day of the solstice or equinox, the distant signing finder, the close signing finder and the observers were placed together with the sun formed one line. An astronomical event like solstice or equinox is fixed at the moment when the edge of the sun disk is touching the Earth. During the year, the sunrise and the sunset points are moving along the horizon line. In the extreme north and south position, this movement is stopped for a few days, that is called a solstice. This daily migration along the horizon is typical for the Moon also.
If you stand in the middle of the near sign and finder circle of the observatory Bezvodovka, they will indicate the points of sunrise and sunset in the days of the winter solstice, spring and autumn equinox, and the summer solstice. The solar observatory helped the ancient astronomers to keep the solar calendar as well as study the movement of the heavenly bodies, which made it possible to determine the dates of the lunar and solar eclipses. Bezvodovka is a tool of incredible scale, parts of which are the Earth, the sky and the space objects. The size of this device is the evidence of the highly accurate azimuth measurements of appearance points of the Sun on the horizon to minutes of arc. The Solar Observatory should be viewed not only as an interesting archaeological site, but also as the evidence of the existence of civilization in Ukraine thousand years ago. That civilization created a large-scale project, organized people to build it and studied the space by the methods which were available. Bezvodovka has been hiding its secrets too long, but now it's revealing the knowledge of ancient astronomers. The mounds are located in the fields not chaotically and not by accident. Their placement relative to each other is caused by a well-planned project of the ancient engineers and ordered by mathematical proportions. The mounds are the proof for this. The ancient mystery of Bezvodovka is not hiding deep in the soil, it lies on the surface. The mystery of Bezvodovka is in its geometry. Sacred Geometry This is the general scheme of Bezvodovka Solar Observatory. The distance between the central and west sign in Finder relates to the distance between the central and southern and northern sign in Finders as 1, 2, 2. In turn, these segments relate to the distance between the central and the southeastern and southwestern sign in Finders as 1, 2, 2. Two, two. two segments of the same length between distant signing finders form with the segment between the central and the north signing finder a relation equal to 3.14 or pi. Pi indicates that the segment is the radius of the circle. The area of the circle is the same with the area of a scalene triangle formed by three groups of mounds. If the distance between the central and the northeastern distance sign in finder is considered being a radius of the circle, we will find four distance sign in finders on this circle, which has diameter of 6 km. Now will come the most exciting geometry. The distance between the center and the east sign in finder and the distance between the center and the nearby western sign in finder is correlated as the golden ratio. Sections between the center and the northern group and between the center and the northeastern sign in finder forms the golden ratio. If we overlay the golden spiral on the scheme of Bezvodovka, we can find in this spiral one near and three distant signing finders. Perhaps the architects of Bezvodovka left the hints for us, which says that the angle between the azimuth of the sunset of the day of equinox and the azimuth of sunrise on the day of summer solstice is the golden angle and has 137.5 degrees because the outside angle and the inside angle create the golden ratio, 1.61. Golden ratio is a fundamental mathematical value in nature. Golden spiral is the shape of the distant galaxy and the mollusk shells. A divine proportion, as Leonardo da Vinci called it, or the Fibonacci number, formed the order of cone scales, sunflower seeds, rose petals, 
the human body and the solar observatory of Bezvodovka. But the sacred geometry of Bezvodovka was created thousand years before Fibonacci, who described the golden ratio. This proportion was known to the civilization that has built the pyramids of Giza Plateau and the architects of the Great Pyramid, as well as to their colleagues from Bezvodovka. The median of the Great Pyramid site has the length of 186 meters, relates to the half of the pyramid base, which has the length of 153 meters as 1.61. This is the golden ratio. These segments form an angle of 51 degrees 50 minutes. If we lay off this angle on Earth and make the line on parallel 51 degrees 50 minutes, we will find on it the Solar Observatory Stonehenge in Great Britain, the oldest solar observatory Gossex, which is 6000 years old, located in Germany, in Ukraine, there is the largest solar observatory in the world, Bezvodovka. Also, an ancient settlement observatory Arkaim is located in Chelyabinsk. They all are divided by thousands of years and thousands of kilometers, but something unites them. Comparing the length of the equator and the length of parallel 51 degrees 50 minutes, we get the relation 1.61. This is the golden ratio on a planetary scale. Only the modern digital technologies, the satellite photos and aerial photography allowed us to come closer to the understanding of the information which is laid down in an ancient building Bezvodovka, created without computers and without the satellite navigation system. That civilization used only the power of its mind and thousands of years before the invasion of iron, which is the material for spacecrafts, people on the banks of the Nile and the Dnieper rivers knew what kind of shape and size our planet has. Heritage of Ancestors Nevertheless, the ancient Egyptian people are called the civilization, but our ancestors are called the tribes of archaeological cultures – Tripilion, Yamna, Catacomb and others. But they, like the Egyptians, had their own outlook, the system of knowledge and the system of its transfer to the future generations. The difference of our ancestors was in their outlook. They called themselves the grandsons of the gods, and it's recorded in the book of Wallace. At the same time, the descendant of the gods in Egypt was only a pharaoh. The descendants of gods were the children of nature, so they didn't build the stone pyramids, they mounted using soil. And every spring the mounds were covered with a colored carpet of flowers. They didn't waste their forces on stonework and transporting of boulders. They took the plastic everlasting building material under their feet to build mounds and the Zmii Vivoli, also called dragon walls. So they have built the thousands of kilometers of dragon walls and thousands of mounds. And this kind of mounds was the open-air temples or solar observatories near each settlement on a large part of the territory of modern Ukraine. And our rational ancestors deserve to be called a civilization. The civilization of mounds. And where now the endless wheat fields are, lived our forefathers and foremothers. They sowed the grain and harvested it with bronze sickles. But not only the bread was the main goal of their life. 
They met the sunrise and the sunset every day. They watched the sky dotted with stars and wanted to understand the laws of the universe. Since that time, we have not only the broken pots, but also the knowledge in the form of festive and ritual calendar. Koleda, Epiphany, Easter, Green Sunday, Kupala, the festival of the Savior. These holidays are devoted to the solar events throughout the year. At all the times, the sun was more than just the cosmic body. It was the god which gave heat, light, food for animals and people. Therefore, it was the source of life. It was never mentioned in a negative sense, but only with positive, like red, beautiful, clear and golden. In order to know the sun better, the Solar Observatory Bezvodovka was created. This Academy of Sciences of the ancient times was the place where the astronomers studied the time cycles of celestial bodies to harmonize the human life with the cosmic rhymes. Bezvodovka has waited thousands of years to be remembered. It needs our protection right now to stand for thousands of years more.